To sort all of this out and what happened last night, let's talk to our political annual analyst, John Dadian, is John, here. can you sort all this out what for us? What is going on? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Well, let's cut right to the chase. Yeah. Carlos just held up the newspapers. If this Pope controversy hadn't happened, what we'd probably be talking about would be, is Rubio going to research? Is Kasich have a chance? Is Jeb Bush yeah, going to yeah. be out? We're not talking about that. Mm -hmm. We're talking about, yeah, we're talking about the Pope, but that word Trump's in there, et cetera. It's this incredible. guy has really been the master of the PR for the entire campaign. Why is it that Donald Trump can make these outlandish statements, back off of him, and then say, I never said that? Or and, and still it's, get the media's, yeah. it's the media's fault. It's a phenomenon we've been talking about six months, a year of the outsiders. Yeah. You know, I hate to use this phrase, but a lot of his supporters really have drank the Kool-Aid in the sense that he can do no wrong. Interesting, last night as I was watching that town hall, Donald Trump's body language and his attempt. I mean, I, I've, I've known a bunch of stand-up comedians, and in that room, he was dying. Mm -hmm. in that room. He kept turning to the audience as if he was going to get an applause right. and he wasn't and getting nothing it. happened. Mm -hmm. And Cle still clearly he gets uncomfortable yeah. sometimes. I mean you, right. you see that and we've seen that in, in some of the debates but some of the phrases that are being used today you know I'm not shy so I can tell you the, that uh, for me personally I can count on one hand people who I would back off on a fight. I would not want to fight Muhammad Ali. I would not want to fight Rocky. I don't want to fight with the Pope, right. but this is working well for him. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the other candidates that were there last night. I really thought, as Carlos did, that um, John Kasich had a good showing, and that Jeb Push really, you know, he's an intro. He, he, admitted he admitted that he yeah. is an introvert last night, but it was really a good forum for him to finally get his message across. Are they going to see any positivity coming out of last night tomorrow? Probably not, and especially for Jeb Bush. I mean, many people, and probably uh, myself included, are ready to call the death knell for Jeb Bush after uh, South Carolina. But as you've heard me say uh, several times over the past couple of weeks, sure, South Carolina is important. Then you not got Nevada, but it really is going to be March 1st when you have 12 states, which is only a couple of weeks, et cetera. Not only 12 states, but some of those are big states, et cetera. If Donald Trump runs a board on that, it'll be all over in a couple of weeks. Who's going to be left standing after South Carolina? Well, I think Kasich st uh, stays really? in, uh, quite honestly. And again, I just mentioned March 1st. Because it is 12 states, and you've heard me talk about the money a lot, mm -hmm. you have to have money to keep those operations going. Sure. And will the money dry up for even a Jeb Bush, who has been probably doing one of the best on fundraising? We, we just don't know yet. So mm -hmm. that's really uh, what we're watching right now. Before I, I let you go, I want to ask you on the Democratic side, because this phenomenon is happening where Hillary Clinton had this huge double-digit lead over Bernie Sanders in Nevada and then as of this morning they're virtually tied what is going on with the Hillary Clinton Clinton campaign what's mm -hmm. going on a couple of things. First of all, uh, you know, I, I do think I'm going to be blunt that they're imploding. The Clinton campaign, they're making what I call rookie mistakes. Uh, that's point uh, uh, number one. And then the Sanders phenomena, what I can't believe in some of these states, including Nevada, but several states, when they're taking these uh, exit polls, p people are saying, who do you like and who's your number two? People are saying Sanders or, or Trump or Trump or Sanders, yeah, which is, you know, phenomenal. So that's why this year, The Outsider, we really can't put our finger on uh, many of the aspects that's happening. Interesting. Yeah, huh? we've never seen anything like this before, John. I've only been doing it 30 years, never yeah. seen anything like this. The Pope it. getting involved in politics? I, I mean, American politics like this? I have no problem with the Pope. That's his job. You right. know, he's the one who should say, let's feed the poor and do anything else. Trump's job as a candidate is to protect the American populace and to lead them. So I think they're both right. How's that for a uh, very strong, uh, yeah. decisive answer? All right. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. Good to Thank you. see you. All right.